Namaskar, I am Pratik and I welcome you to the Bread of Life. Let us look to the Holy Bible, Numbers chapter 19 verse 1 to 10. The main idea of the race was away our sins. Now the Lord spoke to Moses and to Aaron, saying, This is the statue of the law that the Lord has commanded. Tell the people of Israel to bring you a red heifer without a defect, in which there is no blemish and on which a yoke has never come. And you shall give it to Eleazar the priest, and it shall be taken outside the camp and slaughtered before him. And Eleazar the priest shall take some of its blood with his finger, and sprinkle some of its blood toward the front of the tent of meeting seven times. And the heifer shall be burned in his sight its skin, its flesh, and its blood with its dung shall be burned. And the priest shall take cedarwood and hyssop and scarlet yarn and throw them into the fire burning the heifer. Then the priest shall wash his clothes and bathe his body in water and afterward he may come into the camp. But the priest shall be unclean until evening. The one who burns the heifer shall wash his clothes in water and bathe his body in water and shall be unclean until evening. And a man who is clean shall gather up the ashes of the heifer and deposit them outside the camp in a clean place. And they shall be kept for the water for impurity for the congregation of the people of Israel. It is a sin offering. Let's understand the word of God. We cannot come near God if we have unrepented sins. For the Israelites, God sought them away to come near Him if there was any who had sinned. A red heifer without any blemish had to be slaughtered and its blood was to be sprinkled toward the front of the tent of meeting. While burning the heifer, the priests were to take cedarwood and hyssop, which represent purity, and throw them into the fire burning the heifer. The ashes of the heifer would then be used to purify the sins of the Israelites. Jesus, who had no sin, died on the cross to wash away our sins once and for all. We no longer have to offer strict sacrifices and can now freely worship God. Thanks to Jesus who washed away our sins. May the Lord bless us with His holy words. Let's pray and practice. Dear God, thank you for wonderful words. God, please help us to remember your sacrifice and worship your holy name. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Thank you.